So let's talk about auscultation of breath sounds. So when you're listening for breath sounds, you want to listen anteriorly first, and then you want to instruct your patient to take a full deep breath in and a full expiratory breath out and listen to that full breath in each area. As you're doing this, you're going to compare the side that you're listening to and then directly go to the opposite side and listen in that same spot. That way you can see if there's any difference between that area on the other side. So don't forget the lateral areas, your lobes do um, go to the lateral sides and over the trachea, your trachea is where you would hear your strider. When you're listening to the posterior back, you will hear the scapula up in the scapular area, you will hear um, the bronch your vesicular sounds, and then again, you're moving from side to side, listening for the full inspiratory and expiratory breath on each side. As you're doing this, don't forget to move laterally and at the basis of the lungs. It's important because you can notice any diminished breath sound, which can be a symptom of atelectasis or consolidation. I hope that makes sense, and follow me for more nursing tips.